Hi guys, I'm Mishkali and welcome to my Lotor wig tutorial. The wig I'll be using for this tutorial was sponsored by Epic Cosplay Wigs. It is the style Hecate, 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 in the color classic white. I'm also styling it for my girlfriend, uh, Rachel, Spotty, Ratchet, whatever you want to call her. To start, we are going to begin by combing out the wig and seeing where certain areas are going to hit on Rachel's face. Now I'm pinning back the hair to where it needs to be slicked back later on in styling. Lotor has a Loki-esque hairdo, so I'll have the slicked back portion tied back for a while. For this wig, Rachel wants to create a new hairline and sideburns. I've already cut the lace off this wig and are using the excess pieces to create the new hairline. Here I'm tipping the lace where it needs to go. Then I'm marking generalized points of the hairline shape. I'm using a sharpie here, but I recommend using chalk or a not black marker. Now the wig is off Rachel's head and on Jonathan. You can see the marks I've made on the tape over the lace of where I want the new hairline to go. Next, I pin and map out where I want the hairline to go using sewing pins. I've also pinned back some of the hair with bobby pins to make sure they don't get in the way of the super glue. Which I'm using, by the way, to adhere the hair to make the new hairline. I was planning on thinning the wig out anyway, so I didn't need to get any additional wefts to create the hairline. However, if you do want extra wefts to do this, Epic Cosplay Wigs offers wefts you can get separately. To make the hairline, I glue and pin each small group of hair piece by piece. I'm using clear Gorilla Glue with the brush applicator. You can also use tacky glue or any other glue that dries clear. I just prefer Gorilla Glue for the hairline. Be sure to allow the glue to dry completely before adding additional hair to the construction of the hairline. The wig is now off Jonathan and back onto Rachel for fitting adjustments. It still needed more additional hair added to the hairline to match Lotor's hairline in the show and to hide Rachel's already existing hairline. Have you ever heard someone say hairline so many times? Please keep in mind this takes a long time to do, so be sure you have patience and a good show to binge on Netflix. A lot of this is also a ton of trial and error in figuring out the shape of your hairline and how the new hairline you're trying to create will best adapt to your face. And the wig is back on Rachel for another fitting. Here we are making sure she likes the hairline and that it completely covers her hair. And we're also figuring out where to pin the slicked back portion of the hairstyle with this new hairline worked in. Here 
here I am styling in Lotor's little alfalfa thing that he has in the very middle of his face. It's pretty simple to do this. I used a seam ripper to pull out the hair amount I wanted, and then I cut off the excess length. Jonathan has hair again! Now I can finish styling the wig. I start that by securing the slicked back portion, then combing the length of the hair. After that, I curl the hair. Lotor has some hella beach waves, so to achieve this, I'm running a straightener over the fibers, then quickly wrapping them around my hairbrush. I allow the fibers to cool before releasing them, then moving on to the next section of hair. Repeat this until all the hair is curled. You also don't have to use a hairbrush to wrap the hair around, I just prefer to use this. Lotor has some serious volume to his hair. To get this va va voom, I'm backcombing the wig with a barrel brush and then brushing it back out to get the amount of volume desired. I also set this using a lot of hairspray. Using the shears, I'm shaping up the wig. Next, it's time to slick this boy back. First, pin his hair back how you want to slick it back. Then I'm using tacky glue to smooth the wig back into the look I'm going for. Be sure to do this on a wig head, be sure that it's a clear drying glue, and be patient. then you're done. Thank you guys so much for watching this Lotor wig tutorial and a huge shout out to Ekbit Cosplay Wigs for sponsoring this video. I really hope this is helpful for anyone looking to make their own Lotor wig. This was by far one of the most complicated wigs I myself have styled and it was so much fun and so rewarding to get it done in the end. So if you guys follow this tutorial, please tag me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, wherever the hell you're posting the video or photo of your Lotor cosplay and let me see it because I know this thing took me so long to make and I would love how it turned out for you guys. Uh, let me know in the comments below if there's any other tutorials you'd like to see me do. Thank you guys so so much again for your love and support. And if you want to see the makeup tutorial for Lotor, please check out Rachel's channel at the, in the description below. Thank you guys so much again, and bye!